These are the three things I hate about this 2023 Mercedes Sprinter van 3500. It's DK and I'm back again. We're about to pull out win and get these dividends. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. We're about to pull out the sun run so we can run it up. Before we get in the video, if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them seeds up. Throw them seeds up in the comment section below. We're about to go out here. Uh. Let's go and get this dough. Now, the first order we're going to, and we're going to pick up from Sun Run. We're going to pick up 14 panels. We're going to drive 32.9 miles for 907. Don't forget, thank the Lord for all your blessings. We're about to pull up, get this money, we ain't stressing. Let's go. Y'all see who pulling up? I got Ken, so we can go ahead and win and get these dividends. After I strap this down, we're going to spin. You're a funny dude. Don't forget one more thing, Ken. Tell him. Hating is a sin. Hating is a sin. Oh. Tell him that. Man, so it's snitching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, sir, Ski. As, as you see, you know, snitching is too. Yeah. You see? Oh, I don't even want to get into it. Tape. Hold on, one, one second, one second. Free, free little dirt. Hey, man, it's critical out here. Hey, man, look. That's why I stayed out those streets, Ken. I that's stayed why, out those streets. It ain't worth hey, it. That's why, it ain't worth it. That's why I said, that's smart for you. Smart to you, man. I don't want to be the all one in the situation either. Man. Yes, sir. All right, you guys have a good one. Appreciate yes, you, Ken. <laughs> Y'all see it strapped in. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can get these dividends. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the drop-off. We about to put everything in this grass. We pulled up, it's time to get this cash and have a blast, let's get it. Hey, can y'all see me? <laughs> yeah, I switched it up. We trying to run it up, let's get it. Last one, we are here getting the job done. So I'll show everybody at Sun One, let's get it. Now we got to step back in with the photo. You already know though. Smack. No, you good, brother. What's your name? Uh, Adrian. Okay. Uh, I'm not with them. Uh, I'm with the uh, home upgrades. Oh, yeah, okay. Home upgrades, yeah. Okay, so cool down on site. Uh, uh, you said 11308 Maplewood Avenue. Yeah, that's All right, boss, you have a good one. The first thing I hate about this Mercedes Sprinter van is it sits up way too high. Like, in order for you to get in this joint, you got to go all the way up there. Now, as you guys saw, we did have a sun run order. And if those panels were higher than they were, it would have been way worse for us to get them out the van. So sometimes with some of those panels, you actually have to lift them up and then pull them out. Pause. You gotta lift it up and then pull it out like that. So it would have been way more critical. I would have to actually get in the van to pull them, pull to lift it up and then come down with it and then do it like that. But this joint is way too high. And, and number two, number two is it does not have the step. If it was, if it had the step, it wouldn't be as bad. You would be able to stand on the step and then lift it up and then pull that joint out just like that. But without the step is absolutely critical. Number three, I'm actually gonna give you guys more than three. The doors does not open all the way. This is, this is the far as they open. They open like this. And the reason why I dislike this so much is because you blocking up all this space. First off, the van is already not a small van. It's not like a little car done. You blocking up all this space, and now you got your doors poked out like that. And what if somebody's trying to get past? You're gonna have to keep on opening and closing the door, or you're gonna have to leave the door like this. So with our van, you can actually open the door all the way out, like that, all the way out. So I don't like that. And it doesn't even have a latch. Some of them used to have a latch where you can open it from there, open the latch and then push, push it out. But this one does not have it. I do not like that. Order number two, guess what we about to do? We about to pull back up to Sun Riggedy to get these digits, G. We are picking up a wheel call. So I'm guessing some items that they need to put the panels on the roof and all that. We are gonna drive 32.6 miles for 68.63. It's time to pull up and get this cheese, G. Let's go. Just like that, we are here at Sun Riggedy to get these digits, G. Yeah! My God, Ken out here getting it in. Guess what we here to do? Get dividends. What's going on with you, boss? Working hard on Sunday. You working hard or hardly working, Ken? <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. Um, I have a wheel call to go to Waukegan. The uh, order is 826 MEDL -E for Waukegan. A wheel call for Waukegan. <coughs> Y'all see it, baby. We got the wheel call. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can ball, not stall. Let's go. 
Hopefully these joints fit in here. We're gonna see. Stop. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Number two. Number three. Y'all see what's going on. We already get it on. Y'all know my nickname wrong. Put that right there. Bingo. Put that right there. What? Last thing. Now it's time for us to pull up and get green. Now in between, let's go. Number four. Number four is it only has one charging port. That's it. Y'all see that? That's all it has. It also has this little thing right here where you can plug your phone in right there. But other than that, these are the only two things you can use to plug in something. That's a huge problem if you out here running around, if you're going over the road or if you're out here trying to get busy on gig apps, you might have a GPS, you might have your phone charger that you want to uh, hook up. So it's a lot of different things you will probably want to hook up while you're in this van, but it only has those two things. That's it, that's all. How you doing, boss? Yes, sir. Just sitting everything right here? Yeah. Double enough this time. If I can get these out. Got it. Yep. Yes, sir. What's your name, boss? James. I got James. Gold all in my chain. James. Now we got to step back in with the photo. You already know it all. <laughs> we gone. All righty, boss. You have a good one. Thank you, man. Yes, Thank sir. You. And last but not least, number five. Now, number five only pertains to this to this specific vehicle. And that is, it is governed to 70 miles per hour. I understand that you're saying that's a lot. That's the, look, I understand that you may think that 70 miles per hour is a lot of miles per hour, but then when you're on the highway and you're trying to change lanes and all that stuff, the fact that you can go 70 miles per hour and the speed limit is 70 miles per hour is a huge problem. So you kind of got to stay far to the right in the slower lane because you can't be swerving in around or in around those semis and everything trying to move over because that's the fast you can go at 70 miles per hour and everybody else is going 70 miles per hour so what can you really do you can't like really go around nobody you gotta stay over to the far right i do not like that that's a huge problem for me and it's one of my biggest pet peeves with this van honestly because it's, it makes it hard to drive pause it's like it's like it's very inconvenient because you can't really go around nobody you can't really do too much because you are stuck at 70 miles per hour so that's one of the things that I dislike the most. And just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Today, all together, we made 171.45. It's a great time to be alive. Now, the reason why we made a little bit more than we were making before was because we did have to wait at the pickup location to get the solar panels and then wait again because me and my guy Ken had to go out here and get these dividends. We had to pick up all the items because that order had just came in. So we went out there to win, not to spin. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, an update on the van is we don't know. We don't know what's going on with the van right now. We know that they have been working on that joint. That's all I'm going to say is a clap and a bang bang. But it's time for us to fade away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow. It's going back down because we ain't playing around. Because all 2024, all we do is for us to uh, skull. But guess what? We got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.